welcome to Allie in the Valley. I'm Allison Ball Kilmer. Allie in the Valley is a lifestyle blog about healthy, delicious food, all while staying on a budget. Homegrown cooking, down to earth living. in the valley it is christmas time and i love christmas i really do christmas is the fun time to hang out with friends drink eat too much party too much and be thankful for everything that happened in the year and even the bad stuff sit back relax and go guess what it's over so let's get to the new year <laughs> That's the perfect time when it's about. So for Christmas, I always love to make some type of signature cocktail or something. You know me and my cocktails. But I really want to do something simple. This year has all been about simple recipes that anybody can execute. And that's what's really important about cooking. You really start learning how you love to love cooking when you do simple things that are the bomb. So I'm going to show you my Christmas sangria. That's right. You know me and my sangrias. Anybody that comes to any of my parties, they know I'm a sangria girl. But this one is my Christmas sangria with fresh, yummy cranberries. So I am just gonna take some cranberries. I'm gonna take a handful. The exact measurement will be on my website. You know me, I never put an exact measurement while I'm cooking. I'm one of those cooks that just rolls with the flow. I'm gonna crunch them up. Okay. Now, this is not gonna be my extra strong sangria. Um, sometimes I put, you know, like um, Quattro and stuff like that in it, but this time I'm gonna make it light and refreshing. So I'm gonna put that, and a lot of people just use regular wine, but why use regular wine when you have sangria? So I buy store-bought sangria, add it to the crushed cranberries. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I think I need another box. But for the show, just be wonderful right now. There you go. Put that to the side. And then put fresh fruit in. So I have a pear. I love pears. Boom. All right. I'm going to cut an apple. Um. But, you know, and this, oh, let me just bring up. Sangria, you should always do the night before and then put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. Super important. Right now, I'm making it for you, but the key to the best sangria is let the fruit marinate. You know what I mean? Let it get all the yummy, yummy, yummy wine in it. And it's just better tasting. But this is my quick version for you. Now, once you get all the ingredients in there, you top it off with some bubbly water. You could also do Prosecco and you could do champagne. But I'm just doing bubbly water. I'm doing, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a good blooper for Allie in the Valley. Okay, so I'm doing a um, berry flavor bubbly water. Now, if you wanna kick it up and you really wanna spice, spice, spice it and make it like super strong, you could put, um, you could put Cointreau in it or something like that. Oh, I need a spoon, sorry. But this is my light version. And so this will go in the refrigerator overnight. This is for my team that helps me shoot. I love doing a signature cocktail at the end of every alley in the valley so we can go, we did it again! And guess what, you guys? I think this is video number 50 three or 54 or 52, what number is it? 50, number 50 something this year. We have done 50 something videos this year and I'm super proud because let me just tell you, pulling this all together, it might look easy, it ain't always easy. So anyway, Merry Christmas. Here's a Christmas sangria for my staff who I love. Drinking to the holidays. Accomplishing what we set out to do this year. And really being thankful for an amazing 
amazing year. I'm gonna put fruit in it to just, you can eat the fruit, accent, flavor. Now remember, this needs to sit overnight. I'm just showing you how I made it. It didn't sit overnight, but it really needs to. You need to make it the night before. Then, just for some added beauty, wait, let me get an orange for this one. I'm gonna put a rosemary to stir it up with. A little bit more flavor, a little bit more holiday. Bam. All right. Thank you for being part of Alley in the Valley. You know where to get the recipe at AllieInTheValley.com. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I need all the support I can get. And I hope you and your family have an amazing Christmas, amazing holiday. Make sure you take time to eat a lot of food, chill out with your family, and have lots of cocktails, just like I'll do at Alley in the Valley. Let's taste this. Oh my God. I think I need some Cointreau in this. I need a little stronger. <laughs> no, it'll sit and be perfect by tomorrow. Happy holidays.